In this lesson, we're going to fix the formatting of the images in this table by creating a new image style so that our grid is nice and clean. So we're going to go back to our image styles under configuration, take a look at the image styles that we have, and let's edit one of these to see how they're working. The medium image style, which says 220 by 220, is using an effect called scale. And that effect is set to scale the image down to be no taller or wider than 220 pixels. So whichever dimension of the image is larger, that's the one that will be scaled, but the shape of the image will remain exactly the same. We have other effects here that we can choose from, and these effects are all very useful for different reasons. One of them, which is off the edge of your screen right now, is scale and crop. What scale and crop will do is resize the image in one dimension to fit the size that you're looking for, and then crop the top and bottom off of the image so that the image has the proper aspect ratio in order to fit into the exact shape that you want it to be. We're going to create a new image style to make this happen. I'm going to add an image style, and let's call it the grid image. I'll create a new style. And now I can set up the effects that I want. So I'm going to choose scale and crop. It's definitely worthwhile for you to play with some of the other effects that are available because you can have a lot of fun with restyling the way that your image looks. There are also contributed modules that you can use that add additional effects. But right now we're sticking with the simple scale and crop. So I'll go ahead and add this. Now I'm specifying an exact image size that I want. I'm going to set that image size to 200 pixels wide and 100 pixels high so that it has a dramatic impact on the way that the image looks. Go ahead and add this effect. Notice that I have this nice preview here that shows me how this affects the image. I can go back to the image styles list and I'll see that grid image is now one of the options. This style is now available to me in all of the areas where I can set how images display. So we're going to go back to that view, and then we're going to edit this view using the quick edit here. I'm going to scroll down and click on image under fields. Scroll down here. Right now, the image style that I'm using is medium. I'm going to change this to grid image. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to click on the big blue button that says apply all displays. And then I'll go ahead and save this view. Now all of our images fit into the grid quite nicely. They're all sized in the same way and this looks very professional, except for one problem which I intentionally wanted you to see. The wrong part of my body is displaying in the image. We're gonna take a look at how to fix that particular issue in the next lesson. Now that we've set up these image styles, I wanna take a quick look at the file system and show you what's happening here. In our file system, you'll see that there's a directory here called styles. In styles, there are four directories, one for each of the image styles that exist. So grid image being one of those four directories. And if I click through here, I see a version of each of these images that is exactly the size of the image style that I wanted. Notice that in the description area here, the dimensions are 200 by 100. So what's happening is that Drupal is actually creating a real file for the presentation of that image. This creates better site performance and makes the experience for your user far more forgiving if your content editors upload enormous images that should not be served to the end user because they just take too much bandwidth. Let's go back to our site here, configuration, image styles. Under the operations section here, you'll see that one of the options in the drop down menu is flush. If you change your image style, then you'll want to flush the existing ones, which will remove all of those image files that were created and start generating new image files based on the new style settings that you have in place.